In the last video, we learned how to loop samples in Edison, find a zero crossing so pops don't occur, and drag those sounds onto the playlist. In this video, we're going to look at how we can get the key or sounds of certain samples, which it can be really useful, and how we can then sync them to our project. So the example piece of audio I brought in is at 172 BPM. And our project here is set to 90. So a way that we could very quickly get that into the right space is to time stretch it. Time stretch is the icon here with a little clock in. And if we click that, we get some options up here. The time stretch options inside Edison are not musical like they are on the playlist. And we would have to understand how we're going to adjust them. So at 172 BPM, if we were to halve that time, it would give us 86 BPM. So we've got the time multiplier here. We could drag that down to minus 50% and accept. If we were to set our project now to 86 BPM and drag the sample, notice how it now fits within two bars. Later, we'll learn how to do that within the playlist and make it somewhat more musical. We can also go to BPMs that aren't exact fits for the current BPM. The other thing we were going to do is use Edison to tell us the pitch of some of the notes. Now the reason I've chosen this lost piano is because it's chords, it's combinations of multiple notes. However, Edison can still help us find out what some of those root notes are. It's a really simple feature. If we right click on the piece of audio, we can go to regions. We have detect pitch regions here. That's gonna give us a rough idea of the root note of each part of this chord. Knowing that we've already brought this part of the sample in, we can shrink Edison down. And let's make a pattern here. Let's see if that fits. I've slowed the sounds right down here. Let's go back up to 172, which was the original. So let's see if that fits. And that sounds good to me. So that's a really easy way that we can find out the notes of things we've sampled to create things like a bass line below it and add extra instrumentation with it. Just another quick tip on what we can do here. Now that we know these individual notes, if we double click on the note itself, it will come out for us like that and have it highlighted. Use what we know about the zero crossing. If we find a nice space to take that whole sample, we can take the individual samples out just as notes, which can make it really easy for uh, sampling and playing and bringing everything together in a slightly different way. In the next video, we're going to look more at the tempo and time stretch and getting samples to work with our particular projects.